Okay, so now we have problems that have two radicals on this module. And so the idea here is isolate one of the radicals and then square both sides. And then eventually you're gonna have to isolate the other radical and square both sides again, okay? So this square root is a little bit more complex. Therefore, this is the one I'm going to isolate. So I'm going to subtract this term over. Then now that I have this radical isolated, I'm gonna go ahead and square both sides. So that will pop the radical off. Here I actually have a binomial times itself. So that would be 49 minus 7 square root of u minus 7 square root of u plus square root of u squared. which means that's just u then, because the u and the square will cancel each other. And these two I can combine. So I want to now isolate this radical. So I'm going to minus 49 on both sides, and I'm going to minus this u that is not inside of a radical on both sides. So on negative 35 minus 49 is negative 84. And then I'm going to divide by negative 14u, or negative 14, so that I can get the radical all by itself. And I get positive 6. And then now this is isolated, I can square both sides. And I get that u will equal. 36. I just have to check my answer. So I get 1, 1 plus 6. Does that equal 7? Yes, it does. So this answer does check out. So my only answer is 36. Here we'll do the same thing. So I have to isolate one radical, then I have to square both sides, And then I have to move the non-radical terms over to the other side. Continue to isolate that radical. Once it's isolated, I can square both sides again. And so now I need to check 49. That is not true, so which means this solution does not work. And since it was the only solution I found and it didn't work, that means my response in Alex would be that there is no solution. I did get one, but it didn't check out. Okay, same procedure goes even if I have different powers, right? It's just instead of squaring them, you'll raise them to the fourth power or the cube power, whatever it may be. So here I have a four index, which means I need a four power. And so then I'm gonna have y by itself. 
and 2 to the 4 is equal to 16. I do have to check my answer whenever that index is even. So the 4th root of 16, um, 4th root of 16, it is a positive root. I do get 2, and this is also 2. So this answer does check out. My solution is 16. Let's see on the other side. So here I get y, and here I get negative 3 raised to the 4th power is 81. So then when I check it, this is a positive radical, so I will get positive 3, but that is not equal to negative 3, which means y does not equal 81. So in this case, there's no solution. So remember, you can't have square root of negative numbers, um, so or any even root of a negative. So whenever your indexes are squares or fourth powers or six powers or eight powers, even indexes, you have to check your answers. When it comes to the odd indexes, you don't have to check your answers because you can get negative results. Okay. You could always check them if you want to, but the odds will always check out. It's evens where some of them may and some of them might not. So here I'm going to cube both sides. So I'll get the inside equal to 27. So x equals to 6. And if I check that... I get 36 minus 9, which is 27, and the cube root of 27 is 3, so it checks out. So my one answer is 6, right? Here I have a 4 index, oh, but I can't raise it to the 4th power yet because it's not isolated. I have to get rid of this, min this 5 st And then now I can raise it to the fourth power. So I get 5x plus 6 equal to um, 81. And then if I minus 6, and then if I divide by 5, and so then let me check that out, see if that works. So the 4th root of 81 is 3, and 3 plus 5 is 8. That is not equal to 2. So the answer just does not check out, which means the response is actually no solution. Now to solve these problems, you just have to remember what those exponents mean. Remember, this is a fourth root, and then y to the 1, or just y. But since it's a fourth root, I'm going to apply the fourth power. So we get y equals to negative 4 raised to the fourth is 256. And if I try to plug that back in, what is 256 raised to the 1 fourth. It's 4, and that does not equal negative 4. So this answer does not work, which means the response here is no solution. Here you have a 3 index and x to the power 1, so that means I would cube both sides. So I get x equals negative 64, and if I check Negative 64 is the whole base with a one ex third exponent. Oops, that's not right. Negative 64 raised to the one third. 
and this is negative 4, which does equal negative 4. Okay, so this one does check out, meaning that negative 64 is a solution. Here it's the exact same thing. This is the 3 index with 2y minus 14 to the power 1. But in order to cube this, it has to be isolated. So I have to get rid of that 2 first. And since it's to the one power, I don't really need my parentheses either. But then now I'm going to cube both sides. Add 14. Divide by 2. And we get 3. So let's check that. So let's see, parentheses negative 8 raised to the 1 third is negative 2, and negative 2 plus 2 does equal 0. So this answer does check out, therefore it is my solution. I think we've got two more examples and then we're done with this um, module. So remember this is the cube root of 2w minus 11. And this one is the cube root of 7w minus 1 to the 1 power. So I can cube both sides. And I will end up with 2w minus 11, because to the 1 power you don't need the parentheses. And 7w minus 1, because again, to the first power you don't need the parentheses. And then I'm going to solve... So I get 2, and then we have to check. So we get negative 4. We get negative 14 here. Here we get negative 15 to the 1 third, and here we get negative 15 to the 1 third. Now even though this won't reduce, um, they are equivalent to each other. So this answer is a solution. So negative 2 does check out. Now let's try the next one. So this is a fourth root. But the radical is not isolated. So I do need to isolate it first before I can get rid of it. And so the 1 power means I don't really need those parentheses. And then now I can raise it to the fourth power on both sides. Oops, that means the radical would go away. And here you would get 16. So here you would get 4. Now let's check that. So it's 12 plus 4, which is 16. Let's see, 16 raised to the 1 over, oops, delete, over 4 is 2. And 2 plus 8 does not equal 6. So this answer does not check out. But it's the only answer we got, but it doesn't work. So the response is no solution.